on your way down I want you to tell your neighbor uh, this morning that we're gonna break limitations and generational cycles <clears throat> when I come to church on the Lord's Day which is a Sunday morning I am coming in like a cell phone now anybody know what you do with your cell phone in the night one of the tendency that most people have is to plug their phone to have it charged all night I personally believe that when we come in the house of God on a Sunday morning we should be coming like a cell phone and we should plug ourselves into God and so that we should be charged and when we are charged what happened when we go out there for the rest of the week we're powerful we have strength we stand upon the basis of the Word of God there are three things that you and I need to catapult ourselves into the decision we make on a daily basis the determination we have to catapult into our destiny and the distraction that will come in our daily lives and listen I want to encourage you to, if you don't have a desire of owning a house you will never own a house if you don't have a desire to start a family, you will never start a family. Until you desire an enlargement of your territories, it's not going to happen. If your son is a drinker, somebody was a drinker in your generation. If he's disobedient, somebody was. If you take trace of the actions of what's happening in your house, it basically comes from you or somebody in your generation. The Word of God says in John chapter 8 and verses 36, If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall what? You shall be free indeed. So what happened here? Jesus came so that you and I can have freedom. You, you don't have to live a limited life this morning. See, sometimes man put limitation on us. Let me tell you this. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. I'm not saying, say, Doc, I don't believe what you say. Doc, I know what you're saying. It, it might be the truth, but that's not the facts. I'm literally seeing the signs of the coming of the Lord. The Bible talks about the rumors of wars. Are we seeing? The Bible talks about the earthquake. Watch what's happening right now. It's happening. It, it, the Bible says sons will turn against their father. Look what's happening. The scripture actually talk about that the days is going to come when man is going to be branded. Uh, uh, every person is going to be branded and they're going to be using the number 666. People who refuse to take that chip, uh, is, uh, the chip is the people who cannot purchase, the people who cannot do business. So what happened? That is why the scripture said in the last days, perilous times going to come. David said something that is so powerful. David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against thee. Now, I wonder to know why would David said that because David realized that it is the word of God that is going to keep us. The word of God is going to protect us because what God says, I'm going to bless you and you're going out and I'm going to bless you in my coming. How can God do that if he's not in control of your life?